Hi, this is Gary, from Zion Builder. Welcome to a new tips and tricks tutorial about how you can use nested columns in Zion Builder. Okay, so let's get started. The best way to learn is to practice, so we will try to reproduce this design right here, to learn how to use the nested columns, and achieve complex designs with ease. To start, let's add a new section. We can choose a section with a predefined column layout if we think it will help us build our design faster. In our case, choosing this section with two columns would help. But for the sake of this tutorial, we will start from scratch and delete the columns. We will add them again later. Before creating the website structure, let me explain what is the structure composed of. First in the hierarchy, is the section, which you can see here with the blue borders. Second are the columns, which you can add from here, they have yellow borders, and then are the elements like text for example, that have the light blue border. So try keeping this structure when you build your design. Sections are first. Inside sections are columns, and inside columns are elements. Blue. Yellow. Light blue. You could add sections inside columns but it is not a good practice. Columns can be fluid or fixed. If you add a column element from the elements tab then by default that column is on auto, meaning that is fluid and will cover the whole width of the content. If you copy paste a fluid column, the columns will spread evenly through the content. If the column is added from the predefined sections, then those columns are fixed by default. You can see here that this column is not on auto anymore and it takes one fourth of the full content. If we copy paste it again, the column will go under once it doesn't fit in the parent column. So as you can see the column acts differently depending on if it is fixed or fluid, and if you are not aware of why this happens it can be frustrating. If we add a column inside another column and duplicate the child column then you will see that they will go one under the other. That is because the content orientation of the parent column is set to vertical and not horizontal. If we set the content orientation to horizontal then you will see that the columns are repositioned side by side, from left to right. But if we want to make another column, then it will continue to be displayed horizontally next to the other columns and not go under, as it did before, in the section example. So the fourth column exits outside the parent column. This is the parent. First column. Second. Third. And fourth column. I will add some padding to the parent, you will see why. Let me color these columns a bit for us to see them better. You can select elements also from this small tree view here. Okay, so now it is clear. The child columns are horizontal and exit the parent column. If we want them to stay in the parent column, we must tell the parent to wrap them. Easy right? If set to no wrap, they will switch back horizontally. This green light from here shows that we made changes. We can discard the changes like this. Okay, so now that we mastered these column wrap things, we are ready to create our design. Let's delete this section and add a new one with two columns, because as you can see, this design looks like it is split in two. So we can design the left side inside a column, and the right side inside another column. Before adding elements, I usually do a wireframe out of columns and then I add the elements like image or text. Let's add a column inside the left column and duplicate it. I will try to achieve this side-by-side -side look. I am sure that there are more ways to do this design. Most find it difficult because they think like this. They set the parent to horizontally first, and let's say that they add the image and text, and when they try to add this image and text underneath they realize that is difficult to do that. So basically I would need another column underneath these two. So let's add another column. But it still doesn't look good. So the next smart thing to think would be, okay, so I have these two columns, but they shrank because I added a third one, 
Let's make those two columns fixed and force the third one to go under somehow. So we will make the first column half size and the second as well and set the parent to wrap so that the third column goes under the two. Now we can add an image and text here also. This may look difficult but it is not if you do it like this. Or you could do it like this. But as you can see, here you have an extra column that contains the first two columns. So the first variant is still better than the second. Let's change the background to this one. Add some spacing to the section. If you press the control while dragging it will make the spacing even at the top and at the bottom. If you hold the shift key it will jump from 5 to 5 pixels. Here you go. Here is another tip, if you want to move elements from the top to somewhere at the bottom. Instead of doing it like this and hope for the browser to scroll down. You can hold the item with the left mouse click, and use your middle finger to scroll the mouse wheel. Then drop it where you want. Most people don't do this but it is a great way to scroll while dragging something. Here are two other tricks. Hit Ctrl plus C on an image, click the column, and hit paste. Or hold Ctrl while dragging to duplicate an element. Now let's replicate this other section. Here we will take advantage of the default no wrap option to obtain this out of the box effect. So basically those two columns are not wrapped in a left column. They are wrapped inside this white column only but they are outside of it. I will start with a section with a column which will be the white box, and inside four other columns. I think I will make this box black instead of white. It looks similar, but in reverse. So these two are inside the black column, as well as these two. I will copy the content from here because it is faster. Since the black column default right and left paddings are 15 pixels, the inside columns don't spread like the ones from above. So I will remove the padding and increase the column gaps from the section options. Here you go. So how we move this box, to the right. We should first tell Flexbox that we want these four columns to be arranged from right to left, not to the left to right. We do this from here. Now we have to push this column to the right. That is all. Now you know how to use the nested columns with Zion Builder and create any layout you want. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials and hit the like button as well. See you in the next video.